Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh by Shem Shai. Blessings and honors and salutations unto you sincere brothers, you sincere Akim, out there kicking this knowledge and pushing these judgments and these prophecies throughout the four corners of the earth. And double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone, man, that, that, that rule well amongst the elect and that push these prophecies and urge us as younger men to push these prophecies prophecies through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, today is November 25th, okay, which is also known as the day before Thanksgiving, or as one of the Akim out there would say, Thanksgiving, man. All right. There's a lot of you two thirds of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you heathens, you so called white people, you, you, uh, you Hamites, you gooks, you're out there celebrating the slaughtering of the Native Americans, man. All right. You're, you're celebrating a, a day of slaughter of the Native Americans. That being Thanksgiving, okay? I'm gonna try not to make this lesson too long. I'm just let this, I'm gonna go with the spirit, all right? And once again, I'm gonna give all praises unto Yahweh by Shem Shai for giving us this knowledge, man. This is Amos chapter five, verse 18. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you, all right? It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Those that desire the day of the Lord are you people out there that's, that's well, I can't wait till the Lord get back and the Lord got a blessing coming for me. No, the day of the Lord is not going to be what you people think it is, man. That's why it says, to what end is it for you? Because you can't live a whole life of wickedness celebrating these different holidays, are you, uh, committing adultery, and, and you, uh, um, you know, stealing, all right, and doing all these different, these different, um, these different acts of wickedness that go against the law, statutes, and commandments, the ordinances of the Most High. All right, you you can't you can't do that and then expect the day of the Lord to be a good one for you. And and I'm gonna go into it, and it, the scripture's gonna go into it. It says, "To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light." Okay, it says, "As if a man did flee from a lion." And a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. That's saying that you're not going to be able to escape your judgment no matter what you do, man. No matter how you try to escape, no matter how you try to flee, no matter who, who you are. If you, praying to Jesus is not going to help you, man. Going to your pastor and having him, him dunk you in goddamn tap water is not going to help you, man. Going in these underground bunkers, going to these different uh, space stations. Fleeing a country is not going to help you escape your judgment, man. The Lord is everywhere. And if you've been doing wickedness, let, let, let's get on Esau, man. Because the, the so-called white man, Esau, or Edom, has been doing wickedness since the since the day that he had our, his hands on us, man. And no matter what he does, no matter what the so-called white man does, he's not going to be able to escape the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. He's not going to be able to escape the judge. He's, he's been lynching us. He's been beating us. He's been shooting us. Doing all these different acts of wickedness against Israel. All right. When he came over here, to, and he slaughtered the Native Americans, man. Gave them gave them smallpox blankets. All right. Just came over here just being an all, all out demon, man. From that day all the way up to this day, even before that, the so-called white man is going to, he's going to get his judgment, man. It's going to be slaughter. Utter destruction. 100%, 100% um, destruction, man. According to the book of Obadiah, there's going to be none left of the, the house of Esau. And we can't wait for that day. And also you two-third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's, that's backing this nigga up. That's backing these so-called white people up, man. You're going to get destruction, man. And we're going to be happy to get our hands on you niggas, man. Because you backing up somebody who goes totally against your how about Shimei Shai. Every day, every chance he gets, all right, every opportunity, he's going to go off against your how about Shimei Shai. You niggas give him a pass. We're not going to forget. We're not going to forgive Esau, man. We're going to kill. We're going to slaughter the so-called white people. Why are you teaming up with somebody that don't even look? Somebody that hates you, man. According to the book of Psalms, man, they want to get rid of us. According to history, they wanted to get rid of us, man. 
and you're going to give him a pass because now he's giving you some benefits? Man, fuck the so-called white man. Fuck thanks killing, man. And reading on it says, Shall not the day of your how about Shemya or Shai be darkness and not light? It's not going to be a day of happiness for you, for the rest of the world, man. For the, for the elect, for the men that's, that, that hold these prophecies, that hold these ordinances so near and dear to them, man. Those are the ones that are going to be happy in that day because they know what's going to happen. They know that these different these different terrors and pestilences and different different things is going to happen to America. It's going to be a, it's, it's a one step closer to our kingdom, man. For you niggas that's content in America, that's eating, drinking, making merry, making these goddamn heathens your friends, marrying these heathens, it's not going to be a good day for you, man. It's going to be a terrifying day for you. It's going to be a day of darkness for you. It's going to be a day of death, man. It says, even very dark and no brightness in it. It says, I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell of your solemn assemblies, man. The Lord's not with that shit. The Lord's not with Thanksgiving. He's not with Christmas, the 4th of July, Columbus Day. None of this bullshit that you goddamn Americans celebrate. These heathen, pagan holidays that you so-called Negroes, you ignorant Negroes celebrate. Every single pagan holiday in America has a demonic meaning behind it, man. If all you have to do is look into it, do your history. Do your studying, do your digging. All right? You would know what the hell you're celebrating, man. You, see, you out there sacrificing your children to these things. You giving your, your, your kids and, and you giving your kids over to devils. Follow not in the way of the heathen. It's real simple. Because these heathens are not for you, man. These heathens have been our enemies since day one. And it's not going to change, man. So when the, that's, that's why us as men of the Lord, men that actually praise you, how about Shemmy, how shy, in all sincerity and in truth and honesty and integrity, we're waiting on that day, man. We're waiting on that day, man. So all, all you two-third Negroes that are going to, going to celebrate the slaughtering of the Native Americans, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I pray that you get your families together, your friends together. All right. You have a good old merry time. I hope I, I pray that the Lord plagues every last one of you goddamn Negroes that, that celebrate this holiday, man. Though ye, uh, verse 22, it says, though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows, okay? So all these 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 um different prayers that you guys are putting up for um you no know, for these for Thanksgiving or for your Christmas dinners or for any any pagan holiday, all right, any prayers you're putting up thanking Jesus, all right, man, to hell with you, man. The Lord ain't hearing that shit. The Lord's gonna destroy that. He's gonna destroy all the wicked works in America. And he's gonna destroy everybody that's with it. With that being said, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles at Great Millstone. And blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim, man. That's not celebrating this bullshit. Alright, that's not celebrating the slaughter of their own people. Shalom.